Good morning. Thank you for joining us uh, on today's webinar. Today we're going to be talking about Megapix CAS, camera as a system. And uh, really what it, it equates to is uh, you know spectrum on the edge. So all of our CAS products has DW Spectrum inside. So today uh, it's uh, myself. I'm Patrick Kelly. I'm the uh, director of IP sales at Digital Watchdog. And I've got our sales engineer for the Northeast, Scott Capaletti. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, everybody. All right. So quick little uh, agenda here. We're going to do the introduction and the spectrum overview. Uh, then we'll dig into the CAS product line. Uh, and then we'll get into how to set up a Megapix CAS. And it's, uh, you know, as everything with spectrum, it's easy. So uh, not to overcomplicate it, but we're just going to we're going to break it down and you know put a camera online, start recording. Connect it to the cloud, merge it, share access, everything we got to do. Um, okay, audio problems apparently. Mm -hmm. You got a little bit of an echo on you, Mr. Kelly, but not too bad. You're coming through like a little distorted and robotic. So maybe just get closer to the bike if you can. Setting up a CAS camera is actually easier than a Zoom call. And that's the truth. It actually is easier. All right. Uh, Cue eye roll now. Let me, uh, I'll just disconnect my AirPods here for a second. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear, sir. All right. So we'll that's just... a thousand times better. All right. Very good. Sorry about that. We should audio check that. All right, so continuing on, we're going to set up a CAS camera, um, take you through that, and then we'll review some of the uh, web-based resources. We've got a lot of information on our website. We want to make sure everybody knows about that, and then we'll do a little Q&A. This uh, webinar is being recorded uh, and will be available for replay. Uh, we do encourage questions, and we want questions from you. Um, there's a, you know, the chat, the Q&A in uh, Zoom. Please submit your questions and Scott and I will attempt to answer them at the end of the presentation. Um, this webinar will be posted, as I said, it, it'll be recorded and posted on our website um, where you'll find a number of our other webinars as well as sign up for future ones. We've got uh, several upcoming uh, that you can sign up for as well. So without further ado, let's get into that. Let's just do the quick, you know, DW founded in 1987, we have, uh, the Tampa, Florida office where I'm based out of, we've got the Cerritos, California headquarters in, in Southern California. And then we've got our manufacturing facilities in South Korea and Vietnam, uh, where we're producing cameras and cast cameras. Uh, so all of our product is, uh, we, we're producing NDA compliant product that's available for GSA schedule contracts. All right, now we're gonna get into DW Spectrum in the overview. And for that, I'm going to let Scott take over. Scott, go for it. Beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Once again, good morning, everyone. Greetings and salutations to you all. So as Patrick mentioned, this is really about the CAS cameras. And I already saw a question pop up. What is a CAS camera? It's a camera as a system. But before we get into the CAS cameras, to truly appreciate what the CAS cameras are, we need to talk about very quickly what's inside the CAS camera, what's powering our CAS cameras, and that is our DW Spectrum IP VMS software. So what is the VMS software? Let's get into that first. It's a video management software. The beautiful thing about this, if you're not familiar with Spectrum, is that this software is practically identical across all platforms. So whether you're on our client, on the actual server itself, I should say, on the client, on your PC, on the client, on your Mac, on your mobile device, it doesn't matter. The software is practically identical. And I'm telling you, you'll see this in one of the future slides, so easy to use. So we're gonna get into Spectrum. We're gonna give it a quick overview, but as you can see on the screen, it should be said, is Spectrum specifically designed to harness the power of our CAS cameras, our regular cameras, IP cameras, the Megapix cameras, our encoders and our blackjack recorders? Of course, of course it is. But you need to know as well, that we are on Viv Profile S, 
And we do support up to 99% of the camera uh, models out there. So it's not just a digital watchdog product. You can use this with existing cameras out there. There are six big reasons why people come to Digital Watchdog Spectrum and then stay at the Digital Watchdog Spectrum software. And we're gonna go over those six right now. The first one is probably the most important one. And that's what you see on the screen right now, ease of use. I gotta tell you, this is a very complicated software behind the scenes, but it's so simple and easy to use for us. One thing, if you ever go to our trade show, especially the one out in Vegas, where we break out the big booth, all over the booth, you're gonna see our slogan, built for users. Nothing embodies that phrase more than digital watchdog spectrum software. What do I mean by ease of use? I'm gonna read some of the things at the bottom, but I'm not gonna read all of them because you can read it yourself, but we can seamlessly transition from live to playback. This isn't like all the other softwares out there where there's a playback mode and there's a live mode or there's a different piece of software. There's still some product out there that does that. You can be in live and a half a second later, you're in playback. It's instantaneous, truly seamless transition. Great choice of words, whoever wrote that icon. Customizable layouts. Any way you want to set this up, you can have one camera, make it a big camera. You can rotate cameras on their axis. You're not stuck in a grid like you are with a lot of other manufacturers. We can even do e-mapping. We could take a map, put it on the background. So instead of having a grid of cameras, let's make that map be the background. And we put the cameras where they belong. And unlike other manufacturers, we give you a live camera feed on that map. It's not an icon. It's not a thumbnail that refreshes once every 30 seconds. You and your customer base can look at Spectrum on a map and know exactly where everything's installed. While we're on layouts, we'll talk about the spyglass feature. You could take any one camera and make 63 individual baby cameras out of it. Think about a parking lot shot. I want a shot of the entire parking lot, but then I want to get all the spaces where the CEOs park, all the spaces. Maybe we have our fleet of vans over here where catalytic converters keep getting stolen. We could take one camera and make it a layout of multiple cameras using forensic spyglass. And maybe the crown jewel of Spectrum, if not the crown jewel of everything digital watchdog is our smart motion search in Spectrum. Insanely easy to use search. Literally, you highlight what you care about. Instead of just sitting there and a text window popping up telling you, you had motion at one o'clock, two o'clock, and you still have to do the searching, highlight what you care about and Spectrum's just gonna take you there instantaneously. It is the best playback, award-winning playback in the industry. I'll take the Pepsi challenge any day of the week. And for those of you that have not seen Spectrum, please ask your manufacturer rep, contact your RSM, your sales engineer. Please let us show it to you. We're dying to show it to you. Spectrum is IP surveillance made simple. The next big reason why people come to Digital Watchdog Spectrum is our open architecture. So that means a bunch of technical jargon that you have on the screen right there. I'll keep it simple towards the end. One thing I like to bring up with this open architecture is our open API. All that means, we can break it down real simple, is that if you have people that like to play around with software and want to write code, we allow you to do that with Spectrum. But to keep it truly simple, let's look on the left-hand side of the screen. And I'm going to reiterate what I said a moment ago, regardless of your operating system. We've got you covered. So what does that mean? That means that we have Blackjack servers that have Spectrum inside. We have Linux servers. Spectrum is identical to a Linux server than it is on a Windows server. I got my MacBook Air sitting to my right now, right now. That's about, I don't know, five, six years old. It works on that and it's identical. There's maybe one or two little things that are different and that's a Mac thing compared to a Windows thing. But you can ask my regional sales manager, Joe Moran, every Spectrum presentation I do, I do on a six-year-old MacBook Air and it's still smooth as silk. And you might think after hearing all this, seeing all this thing on the slide, this is going to be a huge file. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for it. The truth is it's ultra lightweight. I have no idea how our developers did the magic, the voodoo that they do, but you can download Spectrum. You can do it right now, ladies and gentlemen. You can go to our website right now and download Spectrum for free, and you'll see it's going to take you maybe 30 to 45 seconds to download. You'll be up and running in moments. Once you download it, go to our demo site, and you'll have a couple IP addresses you can use. Download it, put that demo information in, and you can have the power of Spectrum right now before I'm done talking if you want to, but don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you some cool stuff. It is a very powerful application. So even though, as I just mentioned, that it does so much 
You can have this, like I said, on a MacBook Air and it runs smooth. You don't need to have some crazy Alienware computer to run it. It just runs good. And I'm telling you, super efficient. You see that in the bottom left-hand corner. What do we mean by that? We mean that Spectrum is actually monitoring your bandwidth. And Spectrum is trying to help you, give you the best possible experience. For instance, let's say you grab 64 cameras and bring them on the screen at one time. Spectrum automatically, and you can change this, will say, you know what? Let me bring down the resolution of all these cameras. They're so small. Let me lower the frame rate a little bit. Let's give our customer a smooth experience. You could choose to use that feature or not, but it's one of the many things that goes into the open architecture of Digital Watch Dog Spectrum. Our next big reason that people come to and stay with Digital Watch Dog Spectrum IPVMS is that our enterprise features are standard. I love this slide. I love talking about this in every presentation. You don't have to pay anything extra to get enterprise features when it comes to digital watchdog spectrum. We are a very ethical company this way. Our mentality is let's make it awesome and we'll sell more that way instead of nickel and diming our customers. So there are other manufacturers out there that will give you a presentation. They'll get you all into it. And they say, you like that? You like that? Well, guess what? All you get is this on day one. If you want these other features, you got to pay extra. When you download it for free right now on our website, or after this webinar, I should say, on our website, you get every single feature done. You don't have to worry about several different levels, and you don't have to even, we'll, we'll talk about upgrades in a minute. We don't even do anything as far as the upgrades when it comes to charging. Those are on the house. And we're going to give you more enterprise features. As a matter of fact, in the next week or two, we're releasing Generation 5 Digital Watchdog Spectrum software. We have tens, if not hundreds and hundreds of thousands of customers that are out there right now for free. All of a sudden, in the next two weeks, there's going to be a pop-up that pops up in their spectrum. It's going to say, hey, do you want an update? If you do, hit the update button. Those updates are going to be under the hood fixes, under the hood uh, improvements to make things run smoother. But you're also going to get some quality of life, enterprise features. We have one coming out where you're going to automatically be able to group together cameras, name them whatever you want, but forget about the alphabetical list. We can group them together. My point is enterprise features are standard. You're getting the best of the best on day one. And I'll say this, you're getting the best of the best. And if you compare us to other enterprise level softwares out there, we will be dramatically less on day one and definitely year over year. Our next big reason is the DW Cloud. So there's probably a guy I didn't check. His name is Kevin Gorman. That's one of my manufacturer reps that's on this call right now, potentially. And if not, every time I'm with him, he's I think he's in his 30s. I'm in my 40s. I've been around forever. Every time we do a presentation, I always say these young bucks have no idea how hard our life was back in the day. So I know it's third on the list, but the number one, I, number one thing I think of when I think of the DW Cloud is no more port forwarding. For those of you that are old enough to have experienced that life going back to the 90s and the 2000s, back in the day, if you wanted to get a system online, <laughs> it wasn't just, okay, plug it into the internet and you're good to go. You plug it into the internet, great. Now you got to go to your customer's router and it's a Linksys router, Cisco router, Netgear router. You got to learn that. You got to go in, learn the lingo. Some people call it port forwarding. Some people call it port triggering. Doesn't matter. But the bottom line is you got to take about a half hour to port forward just to get these systems online back in the day. And then it got even worse. Internet service providers started making their own routers. And now we're dealing with usernames and passwords. And at the time, tech support was calling up the cable providers and trying to get help. Those days are done. You never have to port forward ever again. We're going to show you in a few slides how easy it is to get online utilizing the DW Cloud. But I'm here to tell you it is so easy. Instead of hours, you will literally get online, whether it's a cast camera that we're going to talk about today or a blackjack recorder, you will be online in moments. I'm talking literally, it says on the slide, seconds. That's no joke. It should be mentioned as well. This beautiful, beautiful thing that we give you, DW Cloud, there's no charge for it. It's completely free. It, it, it comes with every system. Utilize it, sign up for it. It's easy. It'll make your life so much simpler. And there's no limit. So it's free and we're not charging you for it. And you could put thousands, hundreds of thousands of sites on it. We do not limit you whatsoever. It's free. It's limitless. It makes your life easier on the bottom. I mean, there's no more network topology maps that you need anymore. 
DW Cloud is life made simple, and you can share this through the cloud with an unlimited number of users as well. The last thing that we'll talk about, I believe it might be the last thing, I'm not counting, honestly, it could be six, uh, but one of the last things that we'll talk about is that it's simple licensing. The way we do licensing with Spectrum, regardless if it's a CAS or whatever, is that it's one-time fee and it's yours for life. That's it. And not only is it yours for life, it's ethically yours for life. What do I mean by that? There are other manufacturers, and I've worked for some of them, that you have a license. Could you? I don't know why Siri started talking. You have a license, and let's say a camera gets hit by lightning with other manufacturers. Now they go, okay, well, we'll get you a new camera. You are going to have to buy a new license for that camera, not with digital watchdog. That license is tied to the recorder. It's not tied to the individual camera when we're talking about digital watchdog blackjack servers. So you can move them around should you need to. If a camera gets hit by lightning, the new camera comes in. You just apply that license to the new camera. You're done. You have nothing else to worry about. It's yours. Not only that, the upgrades, as I just mentioned, are on the house. So the, these licenses all tied together. You're going to get upgrades with Spectrum and it's on the house. You don't have to worry about paying anything at the end of the year, thousands of dollars at the end of the year. You're good to go. Not only that, these licenses are transferable. I'll give you a real world, for instance, if Doug Cole's listening, one of my manufacturer reps, we have a guy, Tommy, from Diamond Security on Long Island. And he had a cube. This is no joke, a blackjack cube that has Spectrum software on it that was nine years old. And he called me up and said, it's still working. It's starting to slow down. It's almost a decade old. Can I get a new one? But what do I do with these licenses? I go, Tommy, your life has been made simple by Digital Watchdog. All we got to do is go into the license page, export those licenses to an Excel file just so I have them, deactivate the licenses on the old cube, and then go into the new cube and activate them. You could do this seven times before the license. Three times. Three times. I think it's up to seven now. I could be wrong. Uh, but either way, multiple times, I'm pretty sure it just got bumped up, Mr. Kelly, but I, I bow to you. So you could be correct. But either way, we'll just say for this, for today, multiple times, you can now transfer these licenses over. So you're, you're good. It's the most ethical company when it comes to our licenses. Again, no tiers, enterprise level. You get everything right out of the gate. No annual maintenance costs, no additional licenses needed for failover. Failover is one of our strongest features. So this guy, Tommy, I just talked about. He's going to keep his old eight-year-old blackjack that's still running and use that for failover. What does that mean? If something happens to the new server, or maybe he just needs to move that server from one part of the rack to the other and he, other, and he powers it down, everything will go over. All the cameras will go over to the old server temporarily until the new server comes back online. And then automatically Spectrum will bring it right back over. It's an automated process. It's something that other people charge you for, again, no additional license or fee for failover. Simple licensing. The last thing that we're going to talk about on here, now I am counting, is that we're scalable from one to thousands of devices. What does that mean? That means that regardless if we're talking about CAS cameras or Blackjack servers, both of which that have the Spectrum software on it, you could have hundreds of thousands of devices on your cloud. So feel free. Don't feel like you're going to you're going to max it out. Like we said earlier, there's no limit to it whatsoever. Feel free, utilize it. It's as an owner, which is what we call our dealers right now in Spectrum. I can't tell you how many owners have hundreds of little panes, which you'll see in a minute, of little windows that you click on to dive in. You have the ability to have all your customers under your umbrella. And at a glance, I mean, you can literally look at all your customers and just click and you'll be in. It's scalable. You can have thousands of devices on here. So please use it, abuse it. It's beautiful. So now we've given you a brief overview. And, and I will say, even though I probably wax poetic for 15 minutes already, that is a brief overview. One more time, I'm going to repeat it. What you just saw is not the full breadth of what Spectrum can do. So please contact your manufacturer rep, your regional sales manager, or your sales engineer. We would love to give you a proper Spectrum presentation to show you all the power it has. But now that we've done that, let's start to transition over to CAS. Because this slide right here, what gives me goosebumps, and I'm not joking, you can ask anyone that works with me, I get this excited. I literally have goosebumps right now, is that look at the bottom of the screen right now. 
Everything I just told you is in our Spectrum software, right? And in most other manufacturers, it can only be found on the bottom of the screen. A software that's powerful can only be found on servers from our little Blackjack Mini baby adorable server to our giant E-Rack to our Dell servers, our X-Racks. Usually that's it. We're going to transition over because the important thing to remember about these cameras as a system, all the power that we just talked about is going to be in those cameras at the top of the screen. So let's transition over. Now we're going to talk about Spectrum on the Edge through Megapix Cast. Again, look at, look at that. We put it in there twice for a reason. Everything I just told you can fit into the palm of your hand. All the power and the other hour and a half worth of digital watch look Spectrum power that I'd love to show you if we had more time can fit into the palm of your hand. So why go with Megapix Cast cameras? One more time, what is Cast? Camera as a system. It has a server built into it. It is a recorder built into it. All you got to do to get these systems up and running, which we'll show you in a minute, is take your Cast camera, plug it into a PoE switch, give that PoE switch internet, plug your laptop or your PC into that PoE switch, and then you're off and running. And Patrick, I just lost the slide. Hold on one second, but I'll keep, I'll keep, I can talk forever, Patrick. You know that. There it is. We're back. So once you have that all plugged in there, all you got to do is download our IP Finder software. That's free. Download Spectrum. That's free. That's all you need to get up and running with these cast cameras. And again, we're going to talk about this in a minute. Spectrum's built in. The license is built in. I, I, nobody has ever said after playing with Spectrum, I wish we could make this simpler. Digital Watchdog found a way to make the easiest VMS in the world even easier with these CAS cameras. So let's talk about the cloud and CAS cameras one more time. So again, we can connect an unlimited number of CAS systems to the Digital Watchdog cloud with ease. That's true. Yes, I just did a read along. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. We can. We, you can have hundreds of thousands of CAS cameras in your DW cloud. It's easy. You can also merge them together, which we're going to show you in a minute, and bring them together and make them one system. So if you have multiple CAS cameras, even if you wanted to around the world, you can merge them together through the cloud and to your customer. It'll feel like one system. I had a restaurant last week that is considering going with CAS because they want two or three cameras in their restaurants, but they have five restaurants and, and they're having a hard time justifying buying a server for two or three cameras. With CAS, you can do that. With cameras as a system, put in two or three cameras, merge them together as one system, and now it looks and feels like you're on a regular recorder. Again, we'll get into this in a little bit. All the power of Spectrum so we can view playback. It's everything Spectrum can do in the palm of your hand. And again, we can share this with an unlimited number of users. So don't worry about the job size and how many end users you have. You may be thinking, even with this cast camera, there's got to be limitations. No. If, if you have 200 employees that want access to it, it's all good. The digital watch, so cloud is going to take on that load. It's not going to be their network that's struggling to keep up. We've got your back. And through the cloud, through these CAS cameras, through Blackjack servers, you can connect from anywhere on any device. So let's get into what we have as far as CAS cameras. So first and foremost, it should be said for everyone listening, anything in red on the screen is on sale now. If you've never experienced the CAS camera or if you've never experienced Spectrum, there's never been a better time than right now because literally the least expensive way to get Spectrum literally in the palm of your hand is now on sale. So on the left-hand side, anything that's red is on sale. But as you can see, we have a multitude of part numbers. Look, let's look at the housing options we have. We have bullets. We have license plate reader bullets. We have long range bullets. We have vandal dome fish eyes. We have low profile vandal domes. If that's not enough for you, we got ultra low profile vandal domes. We have everything you can imagine from focal length, from a fixed focal length to verifocal, all the way up to a six to 50 millimeter if you need it. We have cast cameras that go from a 50 foot IR range to 140 foot IR range. And my favorite part, especially because some of these just got released months ago, if not weeks ago, is our onboard storage. We can go from 64 gigabytes to one terabyte in an individual camera. We had Paul Krausik, who's on this call with us right now, do a calculation for us live last week. And if my memory serves me correctly, one, one terabyte cast camera recording at 30 frames a second, which is ridiculous, but recording at 30 frames a second 
for 30 days nonstop was less than a terabyte. We can record nonstop 30 frames a second and still get 30 days. And I think a little bit more than 30 days. We have a calculation that we've done with these CAS cameras, depending on how you have it recorded, where you can get a year, one little camera, just getting power and, and internet. It can give you a year of recording on one camera. That's just silly. I love it. So that, that is our lineup of the CAS cameras. And I'm going to drive the point home one more time. These are the ones that are on sale now. So again, if you're sitting here watching this and you've never played with Spectrum, but you heard about it, which must be why you're here, now's your chance to order one of these. If you're one of our installers, check out one of these. Maybe you check out the low, ultra low profile Vandal Dome. Get it in your office. Play around with it. You could see what Spectrum can do for you, and you could see the power of these cast cameras. Because how many times have you had customers ask for a one camera install, two camera install? It doesn't happen often, but it happens. It happened to me again in the past two weeks. Now's your chance to play around and offer it up to 30% off. And I will say this, and we say this in every forward facing webinar that we do. We are having a great year right now. We have tons of inventory. So it's not like we're not selling anything. We have a ton of inventory. We're having a great year, but thanks to the, the mindset of our leadership, we have tons of stock and we are ready to ship. So please bring the sales. The time is now to start buying cast cameras. All right, so we talked about how simple it is. You heard Patrick bring it up. I brought it up. Let's show you just how insanely easy and quick it is to get these online. This is the IP finder that we talked about a moment ago. I'm going to double click on my CAS camera, which automatically popped up in my IP finder. I'm going to hit the website button. I, I like to give it a static IP address as well, which I already did, but I'm going to hit the website button. We're going to type in the username and password for the camera. What I always like to do, first things first, change that to HTML so I could see the image. And yes, that's my kid's trampoline and a very large beach ball. From now, we're going to hit the setup button. I always like to check on these cast cameras, the edge screen. The edge is the Spectrum software. So from here, before you start recording, let's make sure the version matches up and you have the latest, greatest version. After you check that, you can do the install from right here. As you can see, you can do that update. Let's make sure the media server is turned on. Media server basically means it's recording. And if it's not, all the controls to get this up and running are right here for you. You could start it, stop it, restart it, remove it, whatever you want to do, but a great place to start. You got the camera set up in DWIP Finder. You gave it an IP address. Then you click on the web page. You come over here, check the edge, make sure it's on the latest, greatest version, make sure it's recording, and then we're good to go from here. Now, assuming you have the Spectrum client, look at that. It pops right up in your Spectrum client. You literally open it up and you're there. So I'm going to grab it from the left side of the screen, drag it over, and there it is again. Let's get this thing recording. I right-click on it. I go to camera settings. Look how simple. This is so easy. It's ridiculous. I right-click, I right-click, go to camera settings. Because the license is pre-baked in, I just got to turn it on. Now I can choose how I want to record. Quality, I always do best. You can choose between 24-7 nonstop recording, motion recording, or a combination of the two. Choose your frame rate, hit all. Watch this. I hit apply. Look at the bottom of the screen right now before it cuts out, done. It's already recorded, that's it. I mean, that's literally, it's, it's already on a loop playing back. The video is over. That's how you get it set up to record. You bring it over, right click, camera settings, go to the recording tab, turn it on and you're done. It's so easy. And, and the hardest part is the easiest part and that's coming up next. That being connecting it to the cloud. So I talked about the port forwarding days. Watch this. I'm in Spectrum, right? I hit the menu button in the top left-hand corner. I hit System Administrator. I go to DW Cloud. Assuming you have a cloud account, you simply click Connect System to DW Cloud. If you don't, right to the left is where you can create your DW Cloud account. I enter my insanely long password. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. I hit OK. I'm not joking. There's no, we didn't time lapse this. Done. I mean, I'll let you watch it again because it was less than 30 seconds. Instead of port forwarding, instead of going through the nightmare that used to be our lives and our existence and getting these things online, that is it. I'm, I'm going to do the whole video again because I can. Connect system to DW Cloud. Type in your username and password. My password's an entire sentence, if not a paragraph. I, that's the hardest part of the process. I hit OK. Look at that. Ready? System connected to the cloud. It's that easy to get this thing online. All right.
Next one is merging together. So we talked about how we can merge cameras together. As you can see from the screen, we have one camera on that system. I'm going to click on the cloud in the top right-hand corner. I'm going to go to the cloud. This is your DW cloud. I'm going to click on one of the cast cameras that I set up to merge. Watch this at the top of the screen. It's right there for you. We could not have made it easier. You want to merge this camera with another cast camera? You want to create a system? Fine. It gives you a drop down of anything that you own that you can merge it with. So I'm going to do the other cast camera. I hit next. Now what's going to do is say, what name do you want to keep? Pick one name. Great idea. And the settings as well. Let's do cast two because I just set that up. I hit next. All right. A little two-factor authentication. Are you sure you want to merge these systems? If you do, enter your password in here, hit merge. When I was doing this recording, this was my favorite part. And again, I got goosebumps. So watch this. I hit merge. On the top of the screen, a, a little warning pops up saying, all right, we're merging it. Depending on the size of the database, it may take up to several hours. So I was like, oh man, I'm doing this screen recording right now. I use Spectrum as a screen recorder. I better go back to Spectrum and just, I'll do some editing. There's, there's no reason they need to know it's gonna take hours. My favorite part of this whole deal, I go back to Spectrum. Look at that. The other camera's already there. I didn't even close Spectrum out, refresh it, bring it up. Before I could even do anything, it was already there. I gave it half a second to breathe and the camera pops right up like that. I realign it. We have just successfully merged two cast cameras together. Again, you can have them in multiple states or you can have them all at one site. That's how easy it is to bring them together and merge them through our cloud. Again, no port forwarding on either camera. You're just done. It's that easy to merge. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to share access. So now, great, you set up the system. It's up and running. Both cameras are recording. Now we have to give access to the end user. We go back to the cloud, which is already open. We hit add user. Again, I laugh because it's so simple. And I think about my youth and how hard it was. And yeah, I'm the guy that I walked 12 feet in the snow to go to work. But I mean, we are at that level now. All you got to do to add your end user is type in their email address, pick their access level. We have pre-baked access levels built in there. So you can choose between one of the ones that we made for you, or you can customize your access level, what they can see, what they can do. You hit the add button, you're done. If your customer already has a DW Cloud account, automatically, if they have Spectrum open, it pops up and you're good to go. Literally, immediately, it pops up and they have access. If they don't have a DW Cloud account, they're going to get an email saying, hey, you've been invited to view this system. Click here if you want to create an account. You create the account, you follow the instructions, you download Spectrum. And by the time that Spectrum opens up, you log into the cloud, your system is sitting there and waiting for you. Again, that easy to set up. That's how you share access using our DW Cloud. And we're going to end on, again, what I think is the most important part of any Spectrum conversation, which is some of the key functionalities, including, and what I'll spend a couple seconds on, on the bottom right-hand corner, our search. But regardless if it's a CAS camera or a Blackjack server, all the power of Spectrum, all the power, top left-hand corner. This is what I'm talking about, about the e-maps and customizing layouts. You can see right here, we put all these cameras on a map. You still have the power to double click on the camera, go in, but they're all on a map, easy for you to see. Or you could take a multitude of cameras on the screen and decide one camera is more important than the other. Drag and drop it over, give yourself some space to play and then make it bigger. Any way you wanna customize it, drag and drop, it's yours. It is the easiest software. Do I get paid to say that? Absolutely. Is it also the God's honest truth? Yes, it is. Beyond the customizable interface, one thing that I've fallen in love with and digital watchdog spectrum software has actually changed my perspective on the world when it comes to this. The middle image you're seeing there, I used to hate fisheye lens cameras because everything's warped and distorted and upside down. Digital watchdog spectrum software right here in the software, not on the web page, takes the image you're seeing right here. And through that forensic spyglass picture in picture creates separate camera views. Look at those views. If you didn't know there's a fisheye there, could you tell me that was from a fisheye camera? People do that and we'll break it up into 63 different views or they can make a digital pan, tilt and zoom out of it. Why are we showing this to you? Because it's awesome, but also because we have a cast camera that is a fisheye. So if you get one of those, you're not stuck in a traditional fisheye view. You could do the picture in picture mode like you see here, or you can do the digital PTZ. And the most important thing is that I know people are going to ask it. It looks like we have seven questions. That's awesome. I know people are going to ask it. Is that, is this live and playback? The answer is yes. Whether you're doing the picture in picture, whether you're doing the, the little digital PTZ, 
Everything you could do live, you could do in playback, including these features here as well. And the important thing as well, in case someone asked it is, when you're using digital PVZ, is it still recording the overall image? Yes, it is. And then the bottom right-hand corner, again, the crown jewel, if I may be so bold, for Digital Watchdog is our smart search. What are all these units, all this technology that we're talking about? They're recorders. The recording and the playing back should be the most powerful part of our system. And with Digital Watchdog Spectrum software, regardless if it's a CAS camera or a blackjack system, the recording and the playing back is the best part. I am talking instantaneous playback. You click on your timeline and instantaneously you're going to get to where you want to be. We give you a calendar search. If you're not into the timeline, not into zooming and zooming out, the calendar search controls the timeline. You could do it that way as well if you want. Again, instant playback. And again, the most important part is what you're seeing on the screen right now, which is our smart search. You highlight what you care about. The software will automatically skip past all the parts of the shot you don't care about. If I go right now to that California website, which again, everybody in this call, when we're done, go to our website, download Spectrum for free, and then come over here, put all this information in that you'll see in our demo site to get this. You can get these exact same shots and do this exact same smart search. You highlight the car you care about, go to before the action, you thought before the action took place, it's automatically just going to take you to what you care about. Skipping hours in seconds. I'm talking milliseconds. It'll go past an entire day. If there's no motion in that one area for a day, it'll skip past that whole day in a millisecond, only show you what you care about. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the world of technology, in my opinion, when it comes to technology, there's never been a better time to be alive. We, we have such amazing product. We have such amazing things happening in the world right now, and it's only getting better. When it comes to being in the digital watchdog family, either as an employee, a manufacturer rep, or as one of our customers, there's never been a better time to work with digital watchdog beyond the amazing things we have, we have right now. There's even more amazing things coming. You don't even know. I can't wait till we do one of these on one of our future products. But the bottom line is I am happy privileged. I feel lucky to be here to be able to give this presentation right now to work for this company. It's a great time to work with Digital Watchdog. Patrick, I thank you for inviting me to this. I hope we can do it again soon. But until that day comes, back to you, Patrick Kelly. All right, Scott. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, so Scott is one of our sales engineers who's out there every day uh, working on these systems and working with our channel partners, uh, showing our technology. Uh, and as you can hear, he's uh, very passionate about it. In addition to our field st uh, staff and our inside sales team and our technical support team, you know, our marketing team has been working really hard on our website. And so we have a number of videos uh, where, you know, things like the, uh, uh, the fish ID warping and uh, the user management that he showed. And, you know, he didn't even show the audit trail. Uh, we have videos that explain the audit trail. Um, so, you want to check out our video channels. You also want to check out our knowledge base. There's a number of articles that listed out step by step. Uh, everything that we showed you as far as the CAS is listed out in setting up a, a Megapix CAS system, uh, explaining the system. You know, as Scott mentioned, the smart search. So there's a knowledge base article step by step to walk you through the not the uh, the uh, smart search capabilities within Spectrum. Um, number of different links here that, uh, you know, in terms of the resources that are available and on our website uh, to break down the product in uh, feature by feature are available to you 24 seven right off of the website. So now we're going to get into some question about training. So yes, absolutely. As part of our partner program, there is an online certification course for uh, DW Spectrum. Uh, and then as far as, um, you know, all of our uh, sales engineers, all of our regional sales managers, all have uh, Microsoft Teams capability and can, and can conduct webinars on a daily and hourly basis. Uh, so you can absolutely reach out to those RSMs and sales engineers. Uh, they can set up calls with you. Uh, if they're in your neck of the woods, they can, they can come visit you uh, and do trainings. We conduct trainings uh, also at our uh, new facility in Tampa, our newly remodeled facility in Tampa. Uh, so there's lots of training opportunities out there for it. Um, 
Is there RTSP streams available from the CAST camera? Yes, 